Wow, that thing had a lot of curve to the right. Hey golfers, it's Thomas Campbell, Master Club Fitter at Sack and Swing. I have another exciting test today comparing old versus new. So we're going to be testing the technology changes over at least the last 20 years. So I have the Callaway Big Bertha Hawkeye driver and the new Callaway Epic Speed driver. The Epic Speed just came out in 2021 where the Callaway Big Bertha Hawkeye came out in the early 2000s. So for today's test, I'm going to compare the clubs with different club speeds. So I'm going to hit several shots with a 90 mile an hour club speed, and then I'm going to hit several more shots with a club speed of over 110 miles an hour, which is usually what my driver club speed is, just to talk about the differences in forgiveness. Forgiveness in drivers is very, very important today. We've definitely pushed the limits with regards to ball speed off the club face, but a lot of manufacturers are really focusing on forgiveness off the club face, especially on miss hits and where the ball kind of goes there as well. So the difference between these two drivers right off the bat is the Callaway Hawkeye, that driver, the size is 250 cc's. The Epic Speed's got 460 cc, so it's very, very close to double in the volume size. And what should happen there is your off-center hits should be much better with the Callaway Epic Speed. So we're going to test that and hit several shots with each one. Let's hit some shots and take a look at the numbers. Before I do that, I do ask, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have plenty other great content like this coming while you're in the future. Please give us a comment and like while you're at it. Let's hit some shots. Right off the bat, we'll notice with the driver head that's got 250 cc's, we're going to need to move that T-height down just a little bit here. It's a little bit better. I don't want to put it down too low. Wow, that thing had a lot of curve to the right. Okay, so I just hit eight shots with each driver. I hit four shots initially with the Epic Speed. I came back and hit four shots with the Hawkeye driver. Then we hit four more with each one, just to make it as kind of unbiased as we possibly can here. It's kind of really interesting. So it's kind of interesting that the distances weren't too far off with regards to what we're seeing when in total distance, but the level of forgiveness was probably the most important takeaway. And I'm gonna jump straight to the dispersion pattern because if you take a look over here on the right side, right off the bat you'll notice with the Hawkeye, I have three balls that are in the water. I have four balls that are in the right rough. I only had one shot that I hit the fairway out of the, of the eight shots there too. So it's kind of really interesting if you take a look at that with regards to consistency. If you look at the Callaway Epic Speed, just notice how that white circles, white circles are much closer to the middle of the fairway. Now this is a very, very tight fairway. You'll notice if you look at the graph, you can see that it's very, very tight around about the 240 mark where I was hitting this here too. It's maybe 20 to 30 yards total wide, left to right. But you can definitely notice how I was in a hard time with the Callaway Great Big Bertha Hawk right there too. But if you look, the club speed, the ball speed numbers were fairly similar, a little bit faster with the epic speed. So the efficiency, the smash factor number was a little bit higher. Uh, it's kind of interesting how the Hawkeye launched a little bit higher, and that could be to do with the fact that I've got the smaller club head. I did tee it down a little lower, but I think, still think I was catching it. It's a little bit higher on, on the face there. Um, it did spin a little more, it spun about 200 RPMs more. Now keep in mind, both these drivers are nine degree drivers. 
probably not the perfect fit for me if I'm only swinging at 90 miles an hour. A better fit for me when I'm swinging at 110 at miles an hour plus. So I do want to touch on the curve. I mentioned how we have a hard time missing the ball to the right. Kind of interesting with the Callaway Big Bertha Hawkeye. Notice the average speed of curve was 33 feet to the right, where the average curve with the epic speed was 30 feet to the left. So that's kind of really, really interesting. We'll notice that my club path, my face angle numbers were fairly similar, but not so much that they're separated by 60 feet of curve. So my face to path was only one to two degrees different. But it's really interesting how with the Callaway epic speed, I was able to get that club face to close a little bit easier than with the Big Bertha Hawkeye there too. So I wanted to touch on that. So I mentioned there's three in the water there and that would not be so good. So level of forgiveness with the great Big Bertha Hawkeye, maybe not quite as much as the uh, epic speed. And finally, distance. You'll notice the carry distance with the two of them, very, very similar. They are separated by less than one yard, 204.5 and 203.7. Because the Callaway Epic Speed was spinning just a little bit less, it was chasing out just a little bit more going 247.2 versus 241.6 with the Hawkeye driver. So really kind of interesting data. Now this is club speed around about 90 miles an hour. We know that I don't swing at 90 miles an hour and we know that I play a nine degree driver when I swing a little bit over 110. So let's, let's hit some shots at 110 miles an hour and see if there's any difference. jumped on that one. So this would be a really good test. My club speed is the exact same on those eight shots, just under 112 miles an hour with both models. First off, you'll notice the ball speed gains with the epic speed driver. We had over five miles an hour more ball speed with the newer model than the older model. That is definitely something that you would expect, especially considering these drivers are separated by around about 20 years of technology. So you'll notice that the efficiency, the smash factor number was higher with the epic speed than it was with the Hawkeye. So 1.49 versus 1.44. Kind of interesting how the Hawkeye once again launched a little bit higher. Once again, T height. Now I did try and lower that T height a little bit with the 250 cc volume club head, but still had a harder time catching it kind of in, in the sweet spot per se, and that's just showing the kind of level forgiveness with, with these drivers. Um, but kind of interesting how it was actually spinning less because I was catching it maybe a little, little bit on the, on the high, high toe side with the smaller club head. So the spin rate was less. So it was able to keep up relatively good with regards to distance because I was launching it higher and I was spinning it less. You know, it, it, was still, it was still going there with regards to distance, even though the ball speed was five miles an hour less. I was carrying the epic speed about 10 yards longer than the Hawkeye. Uh, you'll notice it was going, yeah, about seven or eight yards further. Kind of interesting there, but it's really kind of important to talk about the level forgiveness, and that's kind of why I did this video, is I wanted to show the level forgiveness with the drivers. If you're gonna crush this driver, there's a good chance it still may kind of keep up with regards to distance on the really good shots. But what you'll notice is the curve difference and you'll notice the curve distance was consistently to the right with the Hawkeye here too. And I had a hard time getting that club face to turn over. I was fighting it. I was really trying to get that thing to kind of turn over. So that's why it's important to pay attention to dispersion. Dispersion is very important. Now we picked out a very pretty tight fairway here in, in simulation. You will notice that I have only hit one shot in the fairway with the 110 plus mile an hour club speed and the 90 mile an hour club speed. So one yellow dot on the fairway and one blue dot on the fairway. Everything else is over there to the right. So that's kind of interesting there to note. I hit probably five to six shots in the water on this hole with the uh, Hawkeye driver. Kind of interesting there. Now I had five or six shots in play with the Epic Speed driver. So that's kind of the big difference right off the bat is kind of the level of forgiveness with each driver there too. And if we take a look at the curve, 
once again, it's the same trend with the slower speed and the faster speed. So you'll notice 87 feet of curve to the right. Now my club path already is into out with both models. I try and hit a little bit of a draw, so my club path is slightly into out. But I had a harder time getting that club face to get turned over. So that's why you'll notice that the face to path was to the right a little bit. Now we're talking a one and a half degree difference is not going to show a hundred feet range of, of difference there too. So forgiveness is bulge and roll on the drivers. The way the, the driver is designed when you catch it slightly on the toe, the gear effect of the drivers is much better with the newer technology than the older technology. Not saying you can't hit a great shot with, the, with older technology. You'll notice I had one up there that competed with the best shots. But you got to think about that was only one shot. I only hit two shots in the fairway of 16 swings with this particular driver. So it just showcases the importance of forgiveness with, with drivers. So this video showcases the importance of forgiveness with drivers. So make sure when you are getting fit for your driver that you do assess dispersion. Where you're catching on the club face is important, but also where the ball is going is really important there too. It's not always about distance. Hitting it straight is also very important. And a newer, more forgiving driver most likely will help you hit more fairways. Keep in mind at second swing, if you do have an older driver and you're looking to upgrade, we do take trades, so that will help offset the price on newer technology. Come on into second swing to get fit with us in stores or online with our sales and support team. I really hope you enjoyed this content. Stay tuned for more in the future.